Hi, my name is Andrea from SenseFly. In this tutorial, I show you how to simulate your flight. So, in Emotion, we did our flight planning from the previous tutorial, and now we connect to a simulated drone. Just click on the connect button in the on the corner left hand side, and then you end up in the connection window which gives you the option to either connect to your drone, so means to your real drone or to a simulated drone. Since we're in the office now, we of course simulate our flight. So we start a simulation. Once the connection is built up, you get a panel on the right hand side, which allows you to see the status of the drone, the position of the drone you see on the screen on the map, this is of course simulated, so if you wish to change it, you can use the simulator toolbar just here to either place your drone in a different spot, let's say a bit more here in the field. And this is also the toolbar which you can use to charge the battery of your simulated drone, launch it and control its flight speed. Once we are here, you see now that we have a warning message saying start and home not set. Without starting home, we are not able to fly a mission. So we can use the notification on the left hand side here in blue, start and home missing, and we can just place it automatically based on the drone's position. This will automatically set your start and home waypoint. Don't forget though to set them properly up in the field again. Because, of course, as you know, you will have to launch and land the drone always against the wind. On the start, the wind will help the drone to climb. On the landing, it will help the drone to slow down and do a precise landing. Now, in the simulator, we are not sure of the wind direction. Therefore, we just assume positions that we want. I assume now that the wind is coming from south. So my start waypoint is moved slightly here towards the south. My home waypoint is in a good position, but the approach zone the EB is using is not facing the wind yet. So I take the approach zone, turn it all the way around so that EB will land against the wind. The mission is not assigned yet to the drone. In order to do that, we go here on the mission tab on the left hand side and we click on the little EB symbol just next to our field block. And now you see how the lines of the mission are all assigned to the drone. Now you're ready to start simulation. Go on your simulator toolbar and click on the launching button. Now the mission is synchronized. In your status, it says now start. The drone is taking off climbing and is making his way to the first waypoint. It will always climb up to the mission's altitude before it does the transition to the first waypoint. If the simulation is too slow for you, just click on the double arrow in the simulation toolbar. Of course, this only works in the simulation. You hear the drone taking pictures. Now I slow down the simulation. The drone has reached its last waypoint. And now it's gonna come back to the home waypoint and by default automatically land in the way that you planned. The simulated wind direction has obviously changed. So you can still now change the direction of your landing approach. Of course, always making sure that this landing approach is free of any obstacles. The drone reached the home waypoint. Now it's descending to the altitude of the home waypoint, measuring the wind and the wind direction and evaluating its best way to land. Now going away with the wind, turning into the approach line, descending along track, giving information about the altitudes during the landing. 
2020. And with this, your simulation has finished and you know how much battery you exactly need, or at least more or less, um, and how such a flight with the EV looks like.